is act, actually playing the advocate, devil's advocate, right? A devil whispering you not to have this conversation. We were having a very good. God, and he came in. Well, put it this way: God decided. No, before the universe was created. Beings, you don't worry about that. No, we are speaking about the question I'm asking you is this. Before the universe was created, you believed the Son of God existed with the Father. Yes. I am asking you very simply, is the Son of God, for his own existence, dependent on the Father? Or is he independent of the Father? No independent, they are one, they are united. Do you understand what I mean by independent and dependent? Yes, yes, yes. The example I give you about between this Father and Son. This Son is totally dependent on the Father, not independent of him. Yes. So what I am asking you, is to tell us, is Jesus the Son of God in your belief, yes. independent of the Father? Well, he was with God, he was always with God. So the answer is what? Independent or not? No. They so he's dependent. dependent on each other. They so he was dependent on the Father. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Do you know anyone who's dependent cannot be God in any way, shape or form? God is the only being who is absolutely independent. Any being who is seen to be dependent cannot be God. Okay, look, it's not about Quran. Our human intellect, our rationality, our reason tells us anything that is dependent on something else, whatever they're dependent on, Without that, they cannot even exist, for example. The son could not exist without the father. So, no, it's not about convincing me. It's about, it's about whether you realize what you're believing is not the truth. Because the truth would be in accordance with sense. Your belief must make sense. When you realize the son of God is not independent of the father, then he cannot be God. Because God has to be independent, has to be, by necessity. By necessity, God has to be absolute. By necessity, God has to be perfect. Any being who is dependent is imperfect. Is Jesus perfect? No, is he perfect God? He cannot be perfect God because he's dependent. He is not, okay. He that has not seen me has seen me. Is the Son of God. Me has seen the Father, okay. Jesus said. Let's test it. Is the Son of God self sufficient? That he doesn't need the Father or the Holy Spirit for him to exist? Is he self sufficient? I'm not a theologian. But the answer is the answer is he's not. Because the Bible and your church fathers tells you Jesus Christ or the second member of the Trinity, the second person of the Trinity, is not self sufficient. No, he was always dependent on God. Exactly, then he's not always. He then, as a human being, thank you. And he's always not God. Never can be God. Then because he's now he's sitting at the right hand of God. Look, look. He's praying if, for you and me. If he is not God, then it is really not sensible for people to worship he him is, along with God. He is God. He, God in three persons. He cannot be God because he's not perfect and self-sufficient. He was. Do you not agree that he's not self-sufficient? Self -sufficient? Then, if he's dependent, he's not God. How difficult is it? Why is it difficult for you to understand that? Do you accept? Okay. Can there be any greater being than God? There cannot be. Can there be any greater being than Jesus? Do you agree? Can there be any, anyone greater than Jesus? Can there be anyone greater than Jesus? You cannot have anyone greater than God. But Jesus has someone greater than him. So how can he be God? Simple. Simple. You know, this gentleman is um, you know, quite elderly in his age and still knowing the truth is not willing to accept it. I mean, what can we do? May Allah guide uh, the gentlemen and those of you who are accepting this kind of belief system to guide you the truth, to realize truth is not there. Truth is in worshiping God alone and that you will find only in Islam, only in the final revelation called the Quran through the final prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam.